Well, we're coming out of winter now, and winter is not letting up for most of the U.S., especially northern states. We're having trouble with spring and warming up. The bees are really experiencing this desire to go out and gather nectar, but then they just can't do it because it's uh, cold. What I'm going to do today is I've actually mixed up this jar of sugar water. One part sugar, one part water, and I've added some special solutions that we add, which is amino boosters, uh, honey bee healthy, and it's a really good for a spring buildup. So I'm going to be simulating a nectar flow that really probably won't start here where I live in Illinois for probably another maybe up to two more weeks. So I'm going to start feeding them and I'm going to take you out to the hive and show you how I'm going to feed them with a winter bee kind still on the hive. So follow me along. I'm going to see if there's some honeycomb on this side of the hive, but the cluster is on the far side. But it's still a little bit cool outside, so everything is frozen together. A little tricky. should never lift a frame out of the hive when it's this cold because the bees, uh, it can hurt the brood. The bees are just going to be a little bit more defensive on a real cold day, but I just want to get honey closer to them if I can. Very sticky, cold propolis. You can see a whole sheet of honey, but it's pretty far away from the cluster. All the cluster, the winter cluster, is still on this half of the hive over here and I can tell they're getting low on food and since it's going to be cold each day for a while I'm going to move their stored honey. Look at the honey that they have stored. It's nowhere near the cluster. Again, I'm not lifting out any fruit comb, I'm just lifting out honeycomb. Still no brew, just looking to see if I might spot a queen walking around. A lot of bee bread right there. going to be great because it's going to allow me to push honey back into the area where the bees are. Now I'm going to go ahead and lift up a frame of brood probably even though it's too cold but I'm just going to do it for a second to give a little inspection. You can see there's a, 
There's still honey around this area where the bees are. There's just a little bit of fruit, not much. I've got the sun against my back and no wind to help with the warmth. The bees are hovering over the brood that's uh, sealed off. Thought maybe I could spot the queen. So what I'm going to do now is just put some honey in this area where the bees are. I'm putting it right next to the winter cluster. Yeah, see, I can't break the cluster, so I can't put that honey. I gotta put this frame back over here where the cluster is. I gotta check this one to see how many bees are on it. Make sure the queen isn't over here. I'm going to get these bees over here. And that way the bees can stay clustered together. I'm going to move this frame of honey over here closer to them. And this one too. You can see this hive had a good store of honey they didn't really use because we kept feeding them the winter be kind all winter.
Okay, so now I'm going to start feeding them some liquid sugar right above the the winter cluster to get them to be stimulated to start laying more, raising more brood. So I've got this sugar water. I'm going to put it right there. I'll put the deep just to give me some room here uh, for my candy. So if you want to look inside here, you can see what we have. Over the top we have uh, we have the winter be kind, and then we have a, a notch in it where we feed the sugar water. So we have a combination of the insulation. A lot of times people feed from the top during the latter parts of the cold winter, but they don't have the insulation and they, the bees lose a lot of heat. So with the winter be kind, with our cutout for spring feeding of liquid, you keep the heat in in late winter but you're able to feed them liquid sugar. Now you never want to feed them liquid sugar unless they're able to fly outside of the hive in order to defecate. You don't feed them liquid sugar like uh, when they're jammed up in the hive when, because it's too cold. So wait until you look at the forecast. If it's going to be above 50, then you can say, okay, it's going to be above 50 tomorrow or the next day so I can feed them a few days in advance of their flight time. Make sure it's going to be sunny and above 50 and then you can go back a few days and start feeding them liquid sugar in the late winter or early spring. So then we just put the top back on it and you got to put some bricks on it or the wind might blow everything off during some spring thunderstorms. So this is how you can feed hard sugar, provide still insulation because tonight it's going to get down to 23 degrees tonight so we got to still have insulation on the top hard candy but also we're starting to stimulate the brood